Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to tackle map scale questions. From my experience, children usually find these questions really tricky, but I'm going to show you a foolproof way on how to answer these questions really easily. Before we get into it though, it's really important that you know your conversions. Specifically, that 10 millimetres is equal to one centimetre, 100 centimetres is equal to one metre, and that 1,000 metres is equal to one kilometre. Okay, let's get into it. You can break these questions down into four easy steps. The first step is to add the unit centimetres in the map scale given. Step two, convert the real life side then from centimetres to metres. And then step three, convert the real life side from metres to kilometres. Your last step then is simply to work out the real life distance when the map is one centimetres. This will allow you to answer any question that you're given using the map scale. Okay, so question one. If a map scale is three to 300,000, what's real life distance on the ground is one centimetre on the map, answering kilometres. Step one, put the centimetre into the map scale. You must make sure you write out each line as I'm going to do here, as this is where usually children go wrong. The aim is to convert the real life part of the ratio from centimetres to kilometres. But you don't want to go straight from centimetres to kilometres, but you'd rather do it step by step to avoid making a silly mistake. OK, so step two, convert the real life side of the ratio from centimetres to metres by dividing by 100. This will give us three thousand meters. Step three then is to convert the real life side of the ratio from meters to kilometers. Dividing this by 1000 then gives us three kilometers. And then lastly, to answer any question given, calculate the real distance when the map is one centimeter. Here, we just need to divide by three to give us one kilometer. And there you have it. Now we know that one centimetre on the map is equivalent to one kilometre on the ground. All right then, let's go on to question number two. If a map scale is three to 750,000, what real distance on the ground is two centimetres on the map? Answer in kilometres. Okay, so as before, step one is to put in the unit centimetres into our map scale. Step two, convert the real life side of the ratio from centimetres to metres by dividing by 100. Mm -hmm. Step three, convert metres to kilometres by dividing by 1000. Now you know that three centimetres on the map is 7.5 kilometres on the ground. So to work out one centimetres, is step four, which is simply now to divide by three. 7.5 kilometers divided by three gives us 2.5 kilometers. That is one centimeter on the map represents 2.5 kilometers on the ground. So to work out what two centimeters would be in real life, we can simply multiply this by two, giving us five kilometers. And there you have it. Now we've actually answered the question. Two centimetres on the map is equivalent to five kilometres on the ground. And there you have it. How to tackle map scale questions. As you can see, it really isn't difficult. The trick as usual with maths is to be organised. Put the header map and real life on top of your scale, particularly when you're practising so they can keep track of what you're looking at. Write out each step as this will help you stay accurate and will also mean you can review your workings if you have time at the end of an exam or test. And lastly, don't jump straight to converting into kilometres from centimetres, as this is where you're likely to go wrong. So now, go on, what are you waiting for? Find some map scale questions and give your new skill a good workout. Until next time, bye.